Anyway, I, I hope there's nothing like too terribly unimportant. Oh man, we got Mothula. But I didn't have fire arrows last time I did this. Oh, let's take care of the groundlings first. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I keep. Wait, no. That's what I get for putting my arrows on the trigger. But. Someone said the Z button does feel kind of like a trigger. And it does. I can totally see that. Jeez, did I kill him already? Damn. Well, that was easy. I'll have to remember that next time. Fire arrows against the moth. Well, I mean, that makes sense, though. It burns their wings. You know, like the moth to the flame. What do we got? Oh, oh we got a treasure chart down here, too, huh? Well, wow, is this two of them here or something? Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. See, this is why all my thumbnails show Link holding something up. I'm stuck reading the text for ten seconds. It totally increases the odds. See ya. You're not going anywhere. I think that's all there is down here, so we're just gonna get out of here. And then we need to adjust the wind to blow northeast so we can fly to the treasure chest out there. Which should still be there. Oh, thank god. I was about to say, man. Don't even do that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. We want northeast. That'll be good for sailing away, too. Can I go ahead and do the... Oh, I don't know how to do that. Anyway, okay, so we got the... This right here. And we can uh, sail to the thing now. Ooh, that was easy. What do we got? What do we got? Man, two times in one minute. <laughs> I know a lot of people said they liked the rubbing of the hands. That's, I think it's pretty funny, too. So, anyway, treasure chart again, yeah. I mean, it's not right for me to think that I'm... That myself is funny, but... For me to think that myself is funny. Uh, okay, so um, I want to check these out real quick and see if... Uh, if I have any that have a treasure by this island, so... Let's check it out. Dude, dude, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and open these all up. So we got Treasure Chart 3, that's by Eastern Fairy Island, I think Western, I'm not sure. There's Four Eye Reef right there. That's by another Fairy Isle, that's by the, uh, those two down south. That, I'm not sure. I think that's, like, Forest Haven or something. Okay, that one's directly north of us. Uh, this one? Wait, let me, let me go back and see where we are right now. Okay, that's not where we are. There's Tingle's chart, which will show you where Tingle is, and also where a couple fairies are, most of which we've already been to. Well, those two I know I've been to, because that one's outside Island. Anyway, whatever. Um, Incredible chart will show you where all the Triforce shards are. One of them is on the ghost ship, as you can see on the far right. And then there's one that's... Wow. Okay, that must, that's that same area where I was having trouble before. Mm. Ne never mind us. Okay, and there's the chart that shows where all the beetle is. Now that one that's wearing the helmet, he's actually important. You're going to want to grind about two, 2,500 rupees before you go to see him. Because he's got some good stuff. But the first time you visit him, he's going to tell you that he closes in like seven days or something. So you'll only have so much time to do it. So what my advice would be is either grind the rupees before you see him, or don't go to see him until you're sure that's the next thing you're going to do. Whoops. I guess they're used to my sail being on the Z there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna head north from here. Okay, guys, we're back. I finally made up my mind what I'm gonna do next. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm doing this right now, because I'm probably not gonna be doing the temple anytime soon. But you have to come here first before you do the temple. And so I just kinda, I don't know, I guess I just wanna get it out of the way. The big cutscene we got here, anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Can't get enough of the music here, man. It's just lovely. I should leave it on while I sleep. It turned out my Wii was on, like when I went to record today. I didn't realize I'd left it on last time I played, which was like two nights ago when I was on that crazy call. Anyway, let's go upstairs and see what we got. I don't know when I suddenly turned into a southerner here. But that's cool, because I pretty much spent 10 years down there, so I kind of picked up the accent, but then it kind of... You know, I was hoping that other guy would be there, but he's not. It's only like certain times that he's there. I think it depends on the time of day or something. 
Anyway. So if we come over here, we can talk to, uh, Postman. You can hear that song coming from up on the cliff, can't you? Ah, oh, such beautiful tone. Medley's gotten really good. Really, we haven't seen Medley in a while. Maybe we should go say hi. Almost feel like Uncle Sai. Anyway, here we go. Shoo! How does she... Well, of course, she probably flies to get over here. So you're like, oh, how does she get over here? Duh. She's a bird. Hey, so we got kind of a... What's over here? What the heck? I don't know. There's actually... You can pick up 200 rupees here. I'll probably show that before I leave since I didn't do it earlier. There's like two different ways you can do it. Anyway. You come over here. Well. She's playing the hop. She's like chic. Oh, Capri Sun, you're okay! You know, Prince Kamai's been asking me all about your adventures. I can rest easy now that I've seen you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali's turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Yeah, that, that's actually Prince Kamali in the scene with, with Valu out in the Tower of Gods. He was like one of the guys that was flying. I didn't even realize it. Yeah. <laughs> wonder if this is how a mother feels. You're getting way ahead of yourself there. But listen to me go on, how I must sound. Better continue practicing so that I can be useful around here, too. Performing music like this is an important duty even. You know what? You know what I forgot to do? You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get the song that I'm supposed to conduct for her. Yeah, I, can, I guess I can't go say hi to her yet. Or, well, I was gonna, like, bring her with me, because you can bring her with you, because you have to take her with you to the temple. And I was just gonna... Oh, no. Oh, shoot! Ugh. Who would have thought you could get hurt at Dragon Roost Island? I didn't think it was possible. Anyway, come over here, and, uh... You know this sign that I showed earlier? It's got the big up arrow on it. Well, if you walk away a little bit, and, uh... And you actually look up, you can see a trail of bombs leading up to a rock here. Well, let me see if I can shoot that. It's a little high. Oh, nice shot. I don't think it hit, though. Well, you could start... Oh, yeah, you could start the chain. Ah. Then you blew up a rock up there, and it's like, well, what's up there? Well, I'll go ahead and show you. Um... I'll show you what these pairs are used for. This is kind of funny, actually. When you use the pair, Link balances it on his head, and then a seagull comes and gets it. And then you control the seagull. So, it's kind of... crazy. Crazy is what it is. I and mean, if you want, you could do this earlier and sacrifice the seagull to get the treasure chest. Wait, there is a treasure chest up here. There was. Okay. I must be like. You know what? It probably fell. Hang on a second. I need to press R. It did fall. How stupid am I? Oh my god, it fell. Okay. Anyway, this treasure chest has a silver rupee, which is worth a whopping 200 rupees. It's time to jump for joy. All right, Link, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Shake your booty. No, actually, don't shake your booty. Did I ever get the Forsaken Fortress map filled in? Yeah, I guess I did. I was gonna say, I could go play the mini game with the fish. That's kind of funny. Okay, anyway, uh, well, what I'm gonna show next, I guess, since I didn't... Okay, I'm back, guys, on the map. We were actually right next to Outset Island. I was right here. I could have just come and done it earlier, and, uh, well, I didn't. Because for some reason, I was thinking it was the other temple I needed to go to. But, no, it's this one. You can actually go to either one. I mean, it's, it doesn't really matter. Because now that you got the iron boots and the power bracelet, which you got from the Fire and Ice Isles, that's what enables you to do things with these temples that you couldn't do before. Jeez, man, excuse me. <laughs> so you can lift this rock now and actually get inside. Which is so utterly awesome, it's beyond belief. And inside, look what we got here. We got a new song. So, now you hold the joystick to the right to play in six... In six, that's basically what they call it. <laughs> down, down, center, right, left, center. Easy enough. So here we go. Six is kind of fast, so you gotta watch it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. You learned the Earth Gods lyric. I'm not sure why the Earth Temple 
requires the one who flies. It would seem like it would be the wind temple that would, but okay, whatever. Huh? Who are you? Holy crap, it's Azora! 